All right, dividing fractions. Dividing fractions is easy if you know how to multiply fractions. Do you know how to multiply fractions? Yes, we do. That's right, because I just showed you, right? Of course you did. Great, so here's how you divide fractions. If you have a fraction divided by another fraction like this, do not do anything with the first fraction. You keep it exactly the way it is, the way that it is. But you turn this, uh, turn this division into multiplication, and you multiply times the reciprocal. So you turn it into a multiplication problem. Now, a while back, a student told me something about KFC. And I was kind of excited because, you know, I like fried chicken. Don't we all? And what this means is you keep, you flip, and then you change. So they're saying that you keep the first fraction exactly the way you see it. You flip the second fraction, and then you have to do what? You've got to change it from division to multiplication. If that helps you, great. If it doesn't, just ignore this part of the video. I figure every, everything helps, right? So if I were to say this, if I say 1 third divided by 1 sixth. What this is really asking is how many times does 1 sixth go into 1 third? Well, if you do what I said to do with the KFC, multiply times the reciprocal, you keep the first guy the same, right? But then you have to do what? Multiply times, and you flip this guy, right? So the reciprocal of 1 over 6 is just 6 over 1. You just flip it over. Now we have a multiplication problem. That makes me happy. Multiplication is a lot, makes me a lot happier than division. I remember hating doing, I remember sitting at my parents' house doing long division and hating this. And knowing that I couldn't do anything else until I finished long division. Hated it. The multiplication, bring it on. It's brought. Okay, so this is just 6 over 3 when you do the multiplication, right? And 6 over 3 is, everybody? You could say 2 over 1, but we can just say 2, right? Please do not say that 6 divided by 3 is 3. Don't even give me that look. I know some people think that. So you're saying, Mr. Craig, that you could fit two one-sixths into one-third? You sure can. And let me show you. Because we always like to draw rectangles whenever we're talking about fractions, right? Now, I'm going to divide this up into what? What did I just divide this into? What did I try to divide this into? I tried to divide it into thirds, right? If I do this... I'm then dividing this into what? Into sixths, right? My original fraction here was one third. So one third is that guy. How many slices of one sixth are in one third? How many how many of these size pieces are in one third. You've got two of these guys, right? So when I said how many times does one sixth go into one third, it goes in there twice. So that's another way of, of looking at that. But I think we'll probably do just fine if we remember to multiply times the reciprocal. If I have negative, <coughs> excuse me negative 5 over 22 divided by 15 over 44. What will I do here? Negative 
you multiply times the reciprocal. You keep the first guy the same, right? This is the keep. Then you flip the second guy, so that's 44 over 15, and you do what? You change this guy to multiplication. multiplication. And when it's multiplication, then everybody's happy. <laughs> At least everybody should be happy. So now we just have to reduce this. How can I reduce anything, or can I? I might not be able to do anything here. What about 22 and 44? What's common? How much? Two. two. So we can reduce those by two. Two goes into 22 how many times? 11. Two goes into 44. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. 22 times. Can you reduce that any further? Yeah. 11, right? 11 it goes into 22, doesn't it? Yeah. So 11 goes in here once. 11 goes into 22 twice. And then, Elena, you were talking about 5 and 15 have a common factor of what? 4. 5. So 5 goes in here once. 5 goes in here three, three. three times. So what are we left with here at the end? How much? Thank you, Lisa, for remembering that there is a negative out there. Negative times a positive is still going to give me a negative. Don't let the negative sign get lost among all the other action that's going on. What do you guys think about that? You think about, pretend that you're the, the mice in Cinderella. We can do it, we can do it. Sorry, it's a, it's a Disney movie. I thought you guys knew Disney. Never mind. I need to stop talking. I'm getting into trouble. How about negative 10 over 3 divided by negative 25. You got this? Yeah. What, what about a positive? You got to turn it into a positive. You got some kind of magic wand that does that? Or is it the fact that we have a negative times a negative that makes it positive? So we'll get to that in just a moment. So this is negative 10 over 3. So we keep this guy, and then we do what? How do I flip this guy? What's the reciprocal of negative 25? Mm-mm. Let's back up here. The reciprocal is taking a fraction and turning it upside down, right? There's no sign change, no sign change whatsoever. Is negative 25 written as a fraction? No. Can you write it as a fraction? Over one. By putting this guy over one. So if I do that, what is his reciprocal? It's what? It's a negative one over 25. And then this division becomes multiplication. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. So you multiply times, excuse me, multiply times the reciprocal. So Dennis, you were saying that a negative times negative is positive, right? Let's go and put that there so we are mindful that we have taken care of the sign and we've addressed that issue. So what do I have here? Can I do any reducing? Do you see a common factor in the numerator and denominator? Five. So 5 goes into 10 how many times? And into 25? So this leaves me with what? It leaves me with 2 fifteenths. Is 2 over 15 totally simplified? Is it in lowest terms? Yes, 2 and 15 are, remember that fancy phrase from the other day? Relatively prime. Because what's the largest number that goes into both of these? One, right? That is the largest factor that they have in common is one. So this guy is in lowest terms. 